hello viewers welcome once again back to my channel math made easy with pdy in today's lesson we are going to learn how to prove the sign rule Someone may ask, what then is a sign rule? It's simply a rule or formula that is used to show the relationship between the sides of a triangle and the corresponding interior angles. To begin with, if we should have a triangle drawn as this, A triangle with sides vertices A, B, and C with corresponding sides to be small a, small b, and then small c. Now, if you look at it carefully, you realize that each corresponding side has a corresponding interior angle that faces it. So in other words, the side small a is being faced by the angle CAB. We can call angle CAB theta. Or you can use any other letter. Then we can call angle CBA also as beta. Likewise, angle ACB can also be labeled as alpha. So every side of this triangle has a corresponding interior angle that takes charge of it. Therefore, what then is a sign rule? The sign rule is deduced as the side small a divided by the corresponding interior angle. For instance, we have the corresponding interior angle that is in charge of the side A as theta. So sine of A, sine of theta should be equal to the ratio between the side B divided by sine of the corresponding interior angle for B, which is theta. And that is also equal to the side small c the ratio between the size small c divided by the corresponding interior angle sine of that angle, which is alpha. You can write a sine rule in so many ways, depending on what exactly you are going to do. But what you need to note is that the sine rule shows the relationship between the sides of a triangle and the corresponding interior angle. So we are going to learn how to prove this. We have another way of writing it, which can also be sine of theta divided by the side A should be equal to sine of beta divided by the side B equal to sine of alpha divided by the side small c. So either you have it as this or you have it as that. So then how do we prove it? So as I said early on, considering triangle ABC, this triangle is not a right angle triangle. So how was the sign rule deduced from A? Now, we can actually introduce a perpendicular height from the point C or the vertex C all the way to meets B. If you look at it carefully, you realize that it doesn't partition it into two equal halves. But we are not interested in that. But let's say that the length of C meeting B, AB, is perpendicular. Therefore, it has partitioned a triangle into two halves. Now we can label the point of intersection of the perpendicular line we can label it n so right now our triangle has been 
partition into two right angle triangle. The first one is triangle triangle A, N, and C. And the second one is the second one is triangle C and and B. As I told you, at N you have a right angle triangle. If you go back to the original diagram, you realize that what we have left on the side of um, C triangle C A N. We have the side B still there. We also have the angle theta. So yes, theta. And then that's the only thing we have there left. And then when you consider line C B, the side A is still there. And um, we have the angle beta also being there. So in this case, we want to try and then write, because it's a right angle triangle, what we need to do right now is to generate a relationship between the size of this right angle triangle using the basic trig ratios. Likewise, we do the same thing here. So if you look at it carefully, you realize that the two triangles have a common side and the common side we can label that side h so h is here and h is also there and from basic tree ratios you bear with me that if you have a common side h h is the angle the side facing the angle theta likewise h is a side facing the angle beta so in other words, you can connect the two sides, the side H and B, with the angle beta. And what do you think would be the trig ratio to connect the two or the three information? Automatically, it's going to be the sine ratio. So with the sine ratio, then we are going to have sine of the angle theta being equal to the opposite side, which is H, from this triangle. So from triangle, we are considering triangle A, right angle triangle A and C. We are having sine theta equal to H over B. From the ratio here, we can actually make H the subject. So H is equal to B sine of theta. So we can label this equation one. Considering the triangle number two, which is triangle C, N, and B. We can also connect the three variables there. That is angle beta, the H, and then the side small a. Therefore, connecting the three of them is still going to be the sign ratio to connect the three information. So that is going to give us sine of beta should be equal to h over small a making h the subject then it means h is equal to a sine of beta now looking at this carefully you realize that we are having equation two here equation one and two can be solved simultaneously or can be linked up because they have a common h so connecting equation one to two then we are going to obtain a sine of beta equal to b sine of theta. Then, moving forward, you bear with me that between the equation that we generated here, it's like the side A has its corresponding interior angle on the other side of the equal to sign that is the right hand side and likewise the side b has its corresponding interior angle on the left hand side of the equation so we can say that we are going to divide both sides by 
B A sine of B or you can say that you divide through by sine of sine of B and then sine of beta and then sine of alpha so that is going to actually give us something like dividing through by sine of alpha and sine of beta we are going to have sine of beta times sine of alpha and on the other side sine of sorry sine of theta so sine of beta and then sine of theta and in this case sine of beta can do away with sine of beta here and sine of theta will also do away with sine of theta here so it will be left with a divided by sine of theta equal to b divided by sine of beta and therefore we've actually shown something we have actually proved that the ratio between the side a divided by its corresponding the sine of its corresponding angle should be equal to the ratio between the side b and the sine of its corresponding angle it tells you that we can bring the third side so meaning is going to be the side c divided by sine of the angle for the side c and from the main triangle the side c has the angle alpha and hence we've proven the sine rule i believe you've gotten the idea behind the sine rule and you can go back and then review the whole operation Thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly subscribe and then like, share, give comments. All comments are welcome and then press on the notification bell so that anytime any new movie, any new video is made, you'll be first to be notified. Thank you.